guys, we're over here at Unique, because I know you guys have been waiting to find out about this little baby right here. This is Jeff Fassbinder. He's yeah. the marketing director at Unique. Yes, yeah. Well, now they've got the H. Tell me about this thing. Uh, the H is one of our new platforms from the Typhoon series. Uh, we have now retractable landing gear, which enables us to have full panoramic view, so the camera spins 360 degrees. The other great thing about it is the hex. We have redundancy on the motor, so if uh -huh. you should have a motor failure, you still can land without crashing. Okay. So that's another great feature. We have a number of flight modes, such as uh, curved cable cam. Basically, gives you about 20 points you can define, set up, and it'll continuously, you know, can have it fly those defined points. Oh, really? Uh, both at, you know, attitude, altitude changes, and it'll it'll move within that confined space. We have POI point of interest so you can yeah. select an object, right. have it orbit basically around it. We have an orbit and me mode. will the camera pitch automatically to keep your POI in the frame? If you are doing vertical transitions, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, okay, yes, good. it can do that. Oh, very good. Uh, and then as far as some of the other features that we have uh, on this great unit here, we have the optical flow sensor down here. Uh -huh. uh, so you have optical yeah. capability. And, and is, with that, is that like a like the competition is an uh, optical and uh, like a sonar sensor? Basically, it's very similar to that. Uh -huh. Basically, like indoors, what we have here, if you have a textured surface, right. it locks in the model, even when you don't have GPS, so it makes it extremely stable to operate. Mm -hmm. uh, and basically, this unit being a, it's a platform module, you know, we have technologies that we've worked with Intel, mm -hmm. and this is the Intel RealSec, RealSense technology that you see here. Uh -huh. So again, this is a very modular design so you can add to the platform. And so that's what makes it really unique about this new Typhoon H. Right. It has so, modular. So we're talking about one of the first drones now because it's been coming, it's headed your way. It's uh, object aware or uh, object avoidance. Uh, yes, it has, yeah. opt it has object avoidance. We have sonar stock in our base H model. Uh -huh. And then with the added technology that Intel provides with the real sense technology, uh, it enhances that ability as far as for basically collision avoidance uh -huh. in conditions uh, such as in fo you know, foliage and trees and things like that yeah. and be able to avoid a lot yeah, of those obstacles. I mean, you could maneuver your way around through the forest right. and not worry so much about what's directly on your right because it's going to know to stay off of that. It makes it a very robust package. The compact ability of it is very great. We can fold down the arms here. You can see me, it's real quick. Uh -huh. Comes with a backpack. So oh, you can it put it, it comes with a backpack for transportation. Okay. Right. So that's another great thing. And you can see these arms, it makes it very compact in size. Yep. Yeah. And uh, tell me about the camera, resolution, uh, options. Uh, the resolution of the camera on this particular one, which is the Seago uh, 3 Plus, uh -huh. uh, is a 4K camera system, 30 frames per second. Also has slow motion capability. Hey, and is this camera as easily detachable as yeah. the original oh, yeah. Typhoon? Yeah. yeah, basically it has Just the tab here. Pull up the tab, and slide, slide it out. Slide yeah. it out. There we go. All right. And here's the FLIR camera, as you can see, mounted on. So. That's what's great about the Typhoon. It's a modular design. Let's move that so the you can see thermal that. Thermal camera option. I gotta ask though, so, you know, through FLIR especially, now does FLIR manufacture this for? Well, that, that, cam that camera, yes, is That is a FLIR? FLIR? Yes. And uh, so if somebody was gonna add FLIR to this, or thermal to this, uh, what kind of price point are we talking about? Well, I mean, that's still TBA at this point, but okay. you know, it, it is it is an ex a rather expensive option, sure. but it is an option that is available for those yeah. who may need that application. And how soon down the road do you think that that's going to be available? The the application here would probably be available, I'd say right around April would okay. be the time frame. Flight duration? Flight duration is uh, between 22 minutes to 25 minutes, depending on your ambient conditions and how you're flying the craft. Okay, and then uh, app capabilities, I assume it's a free download from iOS or from Android? Yes, we have we have both we'll have both applications uh, available on both uh, platforms. Okay, and I'll try to show you a screenshot here on the app. Uh, give me an idea, what what's the functionality in the app? What can you do with it? Uh, as, as far as our app, it just controls the parameters, you know, of flight, the height. Uh, all of our stuff is set up to comply with FAA as far as height restrictions and so forth. Our oh, I gotta ask you, <laughs> are you locked? I mean, does the pilot have the ability to override any of the uh, uh, line of sight or altitude limits? Uh, as far as changing altitude, there is that ability to do so in the software, similar to the Typhoon uh, oh, family okay. now. All right, that's the default. That's then. the default, yes. Okay. And then as far as line of sight, you know, most people 
depending on their vision and ability, is about 1,400 feet. At 1,400 feet, right. it's pretty much a dot. Uh -huh. uh, so we, we recommend to comply with FAA that you fly within the line of sight. Uh -huh. Stock, what's the range? Uh, Video stock, and well, radio. The stock in smart mode is is uh, 300 feet as far as with our geofence capability. But as far as the maximum range, uh, we have up to a mile. So there's a little bit more range as far as the video downlink. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, compared to our other models there, such as the Typhoon 4K, so it, we have increased the range there. So if you do need to do that, and you need to fly, and let's say you're over the ocean and you want to get close to the coastline or something, you could do that with, with up to a mile range. If somebody gets the the age, can they use their steady grip? With this camera, you can use a steady grip uh, uh -huh. that is capable of doing that. It actually comes with a backpack. It'll come with oh. two battery packs. Okay. We have two a, batteries. Two batteries. Okay. We have a charge pack, but we'll have a number of configurations. Uh, but the base, the base model we have is 1799. Okay. Our planned release date is right around April. Okay, around April. So yes. uh, keep an eye on uh, AcesDeals.biz. Peter over there is uh, they're taking pre-orders now, right? You know, pay it off whenever you want to. Peter doesn't care. So, uh, what's the battery going to cost? That was uh, one that I remember. The battery, the battery price point, it, it would probably be in the 100 to 150 range right okay. now. Right. Uh, it's still, you know, there's still a few details to right iron there. out. Okay. But yeah, it should be right in that price point range. Okay. Right. You got a 4K camera. It's called the Seago 3 Plus, and the plus is because it spins around 360 degrees continuously. There's no hard stop, yeah. so you can continuously pan if you need to, without having to, you know, basically yaw the craft yourself. Okay. Is the H going to use GLONASS satellites or are we just talking, you know, the seven or eight that you can get here in Texas? It, it, <laughs> it, it, it has the GLONASS capability. Oh, outstanding. So you can count on 13 or 14 satellites since it's in that European network also. So that's good news. Okay. I appreciate your time, Jeff, very much. Uh, if somebody wants to take a real close look at the specs, where should they go on the net? Uh, go to unique.com okay. and for more for information and or our videos of it. All right, you guys, want to thank you for joining me here on Demon Seed. Thanks to Peter, that good old boy from New York City. You guys have a great evening. Don't forget to kiss the wife for me and make it a wet one. All right, I'm out. Bye.